Would you want them to come and knock your house down because they said the foundations were given and they're not? There's nothing wrong with that building and I'll stand by it. It will cost approximately $500,000 to renovate it. And when you're operating a business and you've got buildings that are going to cost you money, what do you do? You get rid of them. I'm a senior citizen and the Borough York Foundation, and I believe to fight for this. I'm going to remain here. I'm going to fight. I don't care what to do. As far as I'm concerned, this is a fight that I do not intend to lose. Welcome to Beach Hall, home to 150 senior citizens in Toronto's borough of York. A quiet, peaceful place to live, at least until recently. The residents here live on their own. Everyone has a modest apartment rented from the borough. Many of the seniors have been at Beach Hall since it was built in the early 1950s. They thought they'd live out their days here. Right. Hello, Mary. Hello, Stan. How are you? Well, not too bad, thanks. That's it looks good. Like, it looks like rain, eh? Yes, it does. Yes, very Can much. Can I hope with your rain. groceries? Yes, thank you. Appreciate well, it. Well, I think it's the grandest place to live. I, I, I'm very happy here. From the first day I put my foot inside the apartment, I yes. felt at peace. Okay. I felt at happiness. I lived in my own place for um, over 35 years. I raised three, uh, three children, they're all married, got homes of their own. I could go and live with them, but I don't want to. I prefer to be on my own. I'm independent. Uh, but coming here was just like coming home. And you can leave your door open. You can leave your door open, and, the, and the, my neighbor across the road, she used to leave her door open. We'd sit there and chat one to the other. It's you went outside, sat oh, in the yeah, there's trees. Sat out in the park. No, uh, I mean, actually, it was an ideal setting for senior citizens. There was a little, there was grass around, there was trees. You each had your own little yeah. flower garden that you could work. I mean, if you wanted flowers, okay. If you want to stick a tomato plant in, yeah. all right. Yeah. Hello, Hello baby. You're moving, too. You're nearly 100 years old. Oh, no, I'm a long oh, way yeah. from that yet. Yeah. I'm quite young. No. Right. I'm quite young. I'm getting there, Joe. Uh, yeah. And right he's still a widower, so am I a widower. And look, I can show you something. If you can, if you can say I'm near 100, I'll oh. show you something. That I'm not near 100. I'm only 17. Just she, 17? Please watch this. Yeah. I'll show you. Sure, yes. Heels sure. together, toes apart. Ooh, that's what oh. I do that. Yes. Oh, that's 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 special. There's nothing like yeah, it. There's, really nothing, there's just nothing like it. Have you seen any other senior uh, citizens' arrangement with this in the city with this gra grass and ground around it, a place where Trees, you can put your own garden there? in? A hall and get and under a, park. a tree? You a can't hall find, and you don't want you to go can't find it in Metro. You can't find another one like, the, like this in Metro. No. You might find it somewhere out in Grand Prairie, but that's about it. We don't want to leave it, but what are you to do when they come and tell you to get out? The news came without warning in February 1979. The borough of York decided to close down Beach Hall. We had a sheet sent us. We had to be out by the 1st of September, isn't that right, Me sis? for the 1st of August. But she has to move on the 1st of August now. So do I. But on this book, this uh, paper, it said to vacate by the 1st of September. How did people react when they got this notice? They, they couldn't shocked. believe it. They were shocked. They were shocked. Panicked. Yeah. Well, they most of them panic. panicked, you see. Most of them panicked right straight, and uh, they had to move. They figured they had to move, and this was all there is to it. And you couldn't talk anything. You couldn't tell them any different. I couldn't believe when, when I first came to the meeting about, uh, about Beach Hall being demolished that the first that the seniors knew that this was happening, these are seniors who have been living in these buildings for 27 years now, the first they knew was when they read about it in the Toronto Star. Now one of the reasons they read about it in the Toronto Star was because when the Borough of York Housing Company made the decision to demolish, Nunziata, 
who was alderman for this ward, was the only person to vote against it. And he leaked it to the papers because they wanted him to take an oath of secrecy about it. It seems to me they wanted to keep it secret, to move down the, uh, the, the moving vans and the cattle trucks and get the seniors out of here with, with the least amount of, of controversy, and it would make it easier for them. I think they anticipated uh, some sort of controversy and uh, um, ill feeling in the, in the local community. On March 5th, 125 Beach Hall residents packed their community hall to listen to York controller Alan Tonks. We look at Beach Hall from two points of view. One, do we continue it as a program and spend the, well, it amounts, it, it came to $655,000 uh, that CMHC said the buildings would have to be brought up to standard. That's what would have to be spent. Or did we look to phasing Beach Hall out and finding another use for the land, perhaps a more urgent use, a more necessary use, and take advantage of the fact that Metro had built a new building around the corner. I believe that we have traced all avenues and have a thousand... Most of the people were very angry. Angry at the, uh, the way they were informed about this. And we all got quite militant about it, you know, and we thought, well, we're not going to let them sort of run roughshod over us. We've got to do something about it. Well, there's, no, there's, no, there's nothing on the, on the right side no, no, there, unless way over here there's some... Tenant organizer Carol Hay helped the seniors start a petition in their neighborhood. Over 2,000 people signed, urging the borough to keep Beach Hall open. Dozens of neighbors offered to help, any way they could. They presented the petition to York Council, expecting to win a reprieve. The politicians said no. There's nothing that's closer to my heart than the seniors, believe me. I have done everything that I have possibly can for the senior citizens, and I've made sure that these seniors are going to be placed in a good, affordable housing and also in a better environment. Under the borough's plan, most of Beach Hall's residents would be moved to a new high-rise for seniors, Outlook Manor. You know, they, they've given you the idea that they're moving you to a lovely, clean building where there's no stairs. But people our age and older than us, they're not used to apartment building. They're not used to elevators. And the heights, uh, they're afraid of them. I think that the worst thing is that they don't give them a bedroom. And you, you, you've had your home all of your life, you've had a bedroom, and suddenly you're put into one room. And it's a little demeaning, don't you think? Uh, yeah, it's lowering, degrading to me. That's the way I feel about yeah, this degrading. Is I, this is what I was trying to think of myself, as degrading to it's all degrading. senior citizens, no matter where you go, all over the, yeah, the world. to think that you don't deserve a bedroom. To think you're going to be pushed in one box. Yeah. That's right. And the question is, do I think that the people that are moving from Beach Hall to Outlook are going to be happy at Outlook? If I didn't think that they were going to be, I would never have made this decision in the first place. I honestly believe that they will be much happier, but I don't think that they'll ever admit that I was right. I call it the jailhouse, and I figure that's all it is. Oh, I told the lady when I went down to City Hall, if I want to go and live in a jailhouse, I'll go and steal something and they'll put me there and I can live for free. It's not going to cost me a pile of money to live, to live there and live in one room. I, but she wasn't too happy about it. She thought I was disgusting, but I didn't think I was disgusting. Well, that kind of nipped me under the collar, too. When I was sitting there in my Chesterfield that day and that lady come in, uh, she started telling me that, uh, well, if you don't move now, you probably won't get another yes, place with yes. another. This is telling me what I'm going to do in my own place. I, I put her through, through the window. I, mean, I don't like that. Now, you might say, yeah, but the people don't want to go there. And I, at that point, I have to make a decision as to what is reasonable. I say it's not reasonable for people to, to, to take the position that they don't want to go into a particular place when other people don't even have that decision to make. Why are we fighting the way we're fighting? Why haven't we the freedom to say, we like it as it is. Leave us alone, raise our rent, let us stay here. Hooray! 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 Hooray!
Early in April, 200 Beach Hall residents and neighbors marched to the council chambers. They asked for a delay of just 30 days. But again, council refused. The closing would proceed as scheduled. Beach Hall now found a new ally. An organization involved in cooperative housing heard about the fight and suggested a fresh plan of attack. They were beginning to see that they were fighting a losing battle with the borough, that they were not going to convince the borough to maintain its housing company and, and keep the place open. Um, that the only possibility for saving the project lay with somehow buying it from the borough. And that's where the idea of forming a co-op came. If they formed a co-op, they could go to Central Mortgage and Housing and they could get financing that would enable them to buy the project. Right at the very start, I wasn't just sure because I didn't know very much about the co-op. But as I got a little more knowledge about the co-op, I figured, well, this is what we need. So they would own it. They would elect a board of directors from among themselves. They would hire staff, uh, management staff, to look after the place for them. And they would decide how to run the place. I think basically it's a good idea because um, you have a more personal interest in your apartment and you have a more personal interest in the grounds because you feel that you're, while you're there, you're part owner of whatever you're doing. I was like the other ladies. I didn't understand too much about it, but it sounded a lot better than having to, to move in a way into some place where you didn't want to live and then, uh, or some distance away from where you had lived for most of your life. Then you come into the office, choose your apartment, and... Uh, With help from the co-op group, the list. seniors organize their own cooperative. A $25 deposit. With federal That's government support, the seniors would qualify for grants and loans uh, to completely repair Beach Hall and keep it open. They found that, that the government was quite willing and thought the place was very suitable for seniors and should be retained and indicated that they were willing to put up the financing. In late April, the seniors' co-op offered to buy Beach Hall for $415,000, an amount that would pay off the borough's mortgage on the project. Everyone expected council to approve the sale at its next meeting. The point that I would make, Mr. Chairman, is that we were right several months ago to vote to phase out Beach Hall. And we were, we were still right, Mr. Chairman. But the politicians right thought Beach Hall could be sold for a lot more money to earn a profit for the borough. However, the co-op couldn't afford to pay more. All in favor? Opposed? Council rejected the proposed sale by one vote. The motion is lost. I'm 89 years old, and I've lived here 22 years, the second of this month. And I've been happy down here, and I don't see why these buildings need to be pulled down. We used to have this place here packed on an afternoon and have a big sing-song and a regular get-together in there. We had a wonderful time. And when my husband, it was his birthday, we had tea out here. That day, I provided eats for 42 people in here. <coughs> and we had a whale of a time. And I enjoyed every minute. Are you sure and I've enjoyed about? every minute living here. I've been happy. I've lost two husbands. But I've still been happy. Still no, you sure I'm happy now. Keep up, keep up. Keep up. Yes, I'm moving, yes. In what, uh, in what respect, what reason are you having to move? Well, they have told us that uh, we have to move. Who told you? Well, oh, we got a letter to that effect. You, what do you think about it? Well, then, all right, what are you going to do? 
We're, we're at the position now. We're old, you know, and we just don't feel like being moved here and there. And uh, this has been quite a job for us to it's pack been, up and get out. It's been going on so long, too. And it's been a long drag, yeah. I'll tell you that, you know. You didn't know where you're at. And we still don't know where we're at. Okay, we'll do this one here, and then one in between there, and one in between there, okay? She got some two. The seniors' deadline for moving was fast approaching. But Beach Hall's neighbors weren't ready to say goodbye. Could you tell us why you're doing this? Because I love the senior citizens. We want them to stay here. And some people say they're dilapidated, but there's nothing dilapidated about them. We love them, and we want them to stay here. We want them here, I just not to stay. That's how we want them. I just love it. We're used to them, you know, and that's the oh, best way to, to do it. <laughs> you might say we're trying to preserve a quality of life in yeah. this neighborhood. Yep. It's been with us for 25 years, and we don't believe we should lose it. Good afternoon, sir. How are you, how are you keeping it anyway? Meanwhile, the seniors launched a second door-to-door -door campaign. So what's your business? <laughs> My business? Yeah. My business is uh, getting a petition for this here senior citizens. Oh and trying to save the senior citizens' homes down there. So if we can just get as many names as we can get. They didn't think that we would fight like we did, but we all got right in there and we just showed them. Because after all, we built this township. Why should we get kicked out like a bunch of old horses that we don't need anymore? This time, 6,000 people signed. They called on the borough to reconsider the co-op's offer. When this is all through, the day before the next council meeting, a committee of seniors and supporters got together to plan last-minute strategy. It's been a long, hard fight. We have to show them that, that their trick of trying to just weaken us, and, and it's like a war of attrition, mm -hmm. and that it's not working. And mm -hmm. I think that that's the kind of thing that we have to try and show. And it is true it's working a little mm -hmm. bit. I think it's really important that we go into that council meeting really strong mm -hmm. in ourselves, yeah and in our numbers, and we're going to win this thing. It's going to take longer than we thought it was going to, but we're going to win it. The plans to close down Beach Hall were not made for our benefit, despite the claims of council. The housing June 25th, 300 Beach Hall seniors and supporters filled the chamber as council began its meeting. So every day more people move from Beach Hall, and they don't want to. Only this morning, the movers came to move Mrs. Viceroy, but she was too distraught to go. So they came back later this afternoon and moved her. She's 92 years old, and she was very, very upset. All she could say was, this was my home, this was my home. No politician in their right mind would stand up and take on 45% of the population of this borough. And when somebody does, Maybe you better start asking why they're doing it. I believe that the issue that is before us with Beach Hall is not whether we're kicking the senior citizens around because I'm satisfied they're not. I think it's the fear of change. I think it's the fear of the unknown. And what we have tried to do is we've tried to assure those in the community and we're going to develop that site with a really nifty, top-notch development. We pay our money. We're honest. But I'm on the street looking for a place. I can't get one. Just got back now. So don't say that we're, we've been faithful to you. Don't turn us out. The co-op now offered a compromise to lease Beach Hall at cost for 30 to 40 years. The borough would still own the land without the expense of maintaining the project. All in favor? Mr. Noble. Yes. Mr. Coven. Yes. Mr. Bratt. No. Mr. Tonks. Mr. Brown. Your Yes. yes. No. no. Six to five. The compromise was rejected. Council still insisted on selling Beach Hall at a profit. You've got up, and now some of you tossing your mother's out. You don't know the position you put us in. I
I just, I just really don't know what to say, really. Uh, my, my, my emotions has got so bad that I just don't know what to say. We'll fight. I don't care. I don't care if it goes through the next year. I don't give a damn. I'm not going to go ahead and let them push me around. You talk about being pushed around? <laughs> you must remember when that little X comes up the next election, it's not going to be alongside of him. And that's for darn sure. I'm tired, I'm going home, and I pray to God that God forgives him. For most of the seniors, the battle was over. Like Emily Chinnery, they slowly packed up their possessions and memories. Love me too. Keep the love light glowing in your eyes, O oh, Let me call you sweetheart. I am in love with you. That's a nice new message. Nobody wants to move from Beach Hall. Nobody. Are you going to move? I'm not moving, no. As I said a minute ago, I'm staying here to the bitter end. <laughs> and they're not going to push me out. Within four weeks, half the seniors left Beach Hall. The co-op wasn't giving up, but as each day passed, more and more people moved out. Everybody was telling me, don't move. I didn't figure on moving anyway in the first place, because nobody had given me any reason to move. So I stuck it out and stuck it out. There was a few times, though, it was kind of hopeless looking. Sometimes it was pretty lonely. But then I got thinking again, God dang it, if we just hang, if I stay in here, stay in here, we're going to win this, and we're going to come back to uh, Beach Hall again. But Stan was one of the few who were able to hold on. By the middle of August, only four seniors remained. The borough decided to put Beach Hall up for tender, to sell or lease it to the highest bidder. At the last moment, CMHC authorized an increase in the co-op's offer to $750,000. We were very worried because we, uh, we thought that the money we were offering was just not going to, was, was not going to be the highest bid in cold hard cash. But what we had going for us is that there were still people living here. And in order for the borough to actually accept someone else's offer, they would have to evict those people. And those people were really determined to stick with it. The neighbors were behind them. Everything was still really quite tense. Oh, yes. There was a lot of anxiety, yes, naturally, yes, as yes. to uh, who the other people were going to be that were, mm -hmm. that were going to tender for this property, you know. And we had sort of got worked up to the pitch that it was going to be ours yes, <laughs> yeah. and nobody else's. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, when uh, we got to the council chambers, I think with only a few minutes to spare, yeah. when the tenders were opened, yeah. you know, and we found that ours was the best offer that had been made. Finally, the borough gave in. It would lease the project to the co-op for 45 years. Beach Hall was saved. Long months after the battle had begun, the seniors and their supporters got together once more. Oh, I feel wonderful. Good. I really do. Yeah. yeah. Not just because we're one, because we're all coming back home again. No, uh... It's a home. <laughs> this is what I, the way I feel. It's just beautiful. But in the end, 
only 15 of the 150 original residents did return. Some were too ill to come back. Others just couldn't bear to pack and move again. The people who remained began rebuilding their community. Within a year, new seniors filled all the apartments again. That summer, they raised the co-op flag to officially reopen Beach Hall. I think seniors have got a lot of fight in them regardless of their age. You know, we've all got a years of experience and we've got a lot of knowledge which probably hasn't been put to the test till it comes to something like this. And then we know exactly what we can do and if we go about it the right way with help from supporters, well, I think we could almost do anything. You get ahead of them. It's a long 